Hi friends, welcome to Lilybug's Library. I would call this my giving up face. Uh, <laughs> I have tried to uh, do day eight of our Advent tea uh, for oh, a couple hours now. Um, every time I did the video and went to upload it, uh, something crashed, something went wrong. I tried um, uh, to do it in uh, Zoom instead of the one I normally use. That didn't go well. It just, it's been a day. It's been a moment. So I'm trying this. We'll see how this goes. And then um, I'm just going to do a, a small portion of it, stop, see if it actually saves, and then come back and do the rest. So we've already done our tea. Um, so I'll have to just tell you about it today instead of actually, you actually seeing me do it because that's gone. Uh, so it was day eight, it was a little uh, reindeer um, window, and the tea that I got um, was black tea, oolong, and orange peel, and it was, uh, it was good, it was, I can't remember the name of it, um, but it was um, probably about a four out of five. Um, you could taste the orange in it really well, which I was surprised. Um, I thought the black tea would kind of overtake that, but it didn't. Um, so that was our tea. And then we're going to talk about bookish gifts that I found online. Uh, but first, I'm going to stop this, see if it saves, and then we'll go from there. Okay, I'm back with you. It's um, later the same day, much later, um, but we're going to try this again. So um, what I was going to talk to you about today was some bookish gifts. So different places that I've went um, to find something that had to do with books that would make a good Christmas gift or gift for whatever you'd like. Um, so I tried some places that were in Canada and some places that were in the US because I know personally um, being in Canada, I see a lot of things that are for like amazon.com and stuff. And then when you go look at it in Canada, it's either not there at all, or if it's there, it's like double the price. So I kind of want to, you know, use both. So uh, the first thing that I found was a neighborhood bookshop puzzle. So it's really cute. It's got like the uh, picture of the bookshop with some books out front and a few little details. And I found that at Chapters. Now that is um, similar to like Barnes and Noble in the US. Um, and that one was $24.99 Canadian. Not too bad. Um, the next thing I found was um, a reading blanket. So, I mean, it's really cute. It talks about, um, you know, different things to do with reading and quotes and things and, and be great for your little, you know, cozy nook where you've got something set up to read. But because it is kind of a specialty blanket, uh, it was on Amazon.ca for $42.99, which I don't know. I think that's a little pricey, but that's me. Um, but I did also find um, a nice Sherpa blanket um, on Amazon.ca. And it's got that, I don't know what it is exactly. It's not wool, but it's that fluffy white stuff that they put in blankets, like a fleecy sort of thing. Um, and it was only $19.99. So, you know, depending on what kind of blanket you want for your little nook, um, either one of those would be great. And then I did see um, a book of the year on um, Barnes and Noble. And of course, now I got to find what it told me about it. Bear with me for just a second here. I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping something will let me bring it up again so I can take a look while I've still got you on here. One second. Okay, so the book of the year for Barnes and Noble is called um, he The Heaven and Earth Grocery Store by James McBride. So it says a murder mystery laced into a community of such grit and heroism that you live this novel rather than just read it. So it certainly sounds promising. I've, I've never heard of James McBride. Um, and I'm not sure what Barnes and Noble, um, why they chose that one as book of the year. I don't know what criteria there is, but anyway, be interesting. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Uh, and that one for uh, from Barnes and Noble, it's twenty five twenty um, hardcover U.S. Um, so the next one, I guess it's not really technically book related, but I found two different candles, um, which I thought were cute. So the first one um, is a bookish candle. So that one comes from Amazon.com and it says library on it and it was $24 and it says it smells like um, uh, paper, uh, leather, mahogany and oak. So I'd be interested if anybody's ever bought this or something like it, I'd love to know what it really smells like because um, I could see maybe leather being a, a strong smell and maybe even oak, but um, not so sure you'd get that paper smell in there. Anyway, I'd love to know if you, if you have one. Uh, the other one, like I said, is not really bookish, but I couldn't resist. It's called a cereal milk candle. So I don't know. I mean, cereal milk, I mean, does it smell like Fruit Loops, the Count Chocula? I don't know, <laughs> but I'd love to know what it does smell like. Um, tempting to buy it, but it's um, $25.90 on Amazon.ca. So again, if you own one, let me know. Uh, the next one, Oliver, what are you doing, dear? All right, down you go. All right, have a seat. Yeah, have a seat. There you go. <laughs> okay, so um, the next one was a, su a book sun catcher, um, which I saw on Timu, and uh, I, you can't tell, or I can't tell at least, how big things necessarily are on there. Um, I, they usually tell you the dimensions, but I'm not great with those things, but it looks like it's a good size, and uh, it is $7.98 on Timu. Uh, and again, that's Canadian. Um, now there is uh, also some reading socks on there that I saw. Um, it says, Shh, I'm reading. And those ones are $4.98 on uh, Timu in Canadian. Um, so both those would be great, like for stocking stuffers or something. Um, there is some bookish stickers on Amazon.com. And although I haven't bought those ones, I have bought some similar stickers from Amazon.ca. Um, I bought ones that were like winter themed or um, uh, fall themed. Um, I do um, letters for seniors and a lot of times I'll do up the envelopes with stickers and things. And, and they, like I said, they look similar. So if they are, then they're a really good quality. Um, and I think that, uh, that you'd be quite pleased with them for $6.99. Um, the next thing was um, a bookish tote, which was on Amazon.com for $9.99. And again, looks to be a good size. I'd say maybe 12 by 14, something around there. Um, but it'd be great if you have like a teacher in your life or, um, uh, you know, just someone who really enjoys books and, you know, is, or papers and is carting them around all the time. Um, it's really cute. It's got the books and some, you know, spring flowers and things. So I like that one for the price. Um, the next one is a book vase, which I found on Barnes and Noble. And it looks like um, The Secret Garden, the book The Secret Garden. Um, only it has a little slot in the top where you can put the flowers. So I thought that was really cute. It would look really nice on a desk or something. Um, especially if that was like your favorite book. And then there was also a coffee mug, um, which I found at Chapters for $14.99 Canadian. And that one says uh, something about, sorry, I've got the pictures kind of slid over here. Da, da, da. Something about getting lit, but it was, it was getting literary. <laughs> so anyway, I thought that was cute. And then um, a few things that I didn't um, put on there as far as pictures or anything, but that you could easily find. If you type in just bookish gifts on uh, Timu in particular, it comes up with all kinds of things. So there's like book lights, there's pins, there's bookmarks, there's even spoons that say things like, I love reading and coffee and stuff like that. Um, two of the things that I thought were really cute is I did see one that was, I guess it was just, it was made out of wood and it had a spot where you could put your book on, um, it, like have your book open and just rest it on there to hold it. Um, or on the side, it had a spot to stand your Kindle. And then in the front, it had a, um, a little round section where you could put your coffee mug. 
And I thought that was really cute. And I thought, you know, if you have someone in your life who's, you know, a carpenter or something, I mean, it could easily be made too. Um, and then I also saw um, a really cute hair clip. I'm not much of one for hair clips. I, I don't know. I never really had hair that needed them, but, <laughs> but this is, um, it's got like three or four little books on the hair clip and, uh, and it's very cute. So, you know, something like that would be really neat too. And, and just kind of, you know, different, right? So those are some of the, the booking bookish gifts that I found. Um, so I don't know, let me know down below. Do you own any of those? Do you uh, have some other kind of bookish gift that you really like? Um, are, uh, you know, have you thought of some, um, you know, different ideas for um, things for Christmas, different gifts? Um, so yeah, I'd love to hear what you think. And, um, and, and I have to tell you about the, the coffee cup too. I forgot about this part. Um, made the video so many times, you know, <laughs> but, uh, the coffee cup that I found, the one that uh, talks about being literary, it was $14.99 and it looks to be a decent size, but I, um, around here, drug stores often carry decor items and I find personally, they price them outrageously. So wonderful hubby and I went to um, the local drugstore a couple of days ago and uh, looking for a few things and found this really nice looking coffee mug. I can't remember what it said now. It was something cutesy, but, um, and it was, I don't know, it was probably, you know, like a good size. It probably held 10, 12 ounces of coffee maybe, but they wanted $40 for it. And I just thought, I, uh, I don't know. I thought it was outrageous myself. Like it's, it's still just a coffee mug. So anyway, that was, that's my rant for, <laughs> for the price of things. Um, so yeah, let me know, uh, like I said, comment in it below. I always love hearing from you and, uh, hopefully this time everything goes through properly and, um, I will, uh, finish my coffee now that I've moved on to coffee instead of tea. I'll put it in my other hand so I've got my um, uh, brace on, but I'll show you that he's, he's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I will talk to you later, friends. Bye-bye.